In our Women and Work Report today, Diane Mocha takes a look at a segment of the economy that is booming, companies owned by women. In the past five years, the number of women-owned businesses climbed 21 percent, and so did the revenue they generated, more than double the increase of other businesses, according to a study from American Express. A few key reasons contributed to this boost, including some life transitions that nudge many women to seek a new direction, especially those who didn't intend to run their own companies. I commuted on the train back and forth when I first had my son. It was hard. I mean, it was stressful because you're putting your baby in the care of someone else and then you're working and then you're emotional and hormonal because you just had a baby. Katie Merling didn't want to quit working after having her son, but she also wanted more time with her family, especially after her daughter came along. It was when I would get up see them for 20 minutes, come home, see them for 40 minutes because they'd go to bed because they were so little. That is when I realized I'm like, it doesn't, this isn't what's working. If I didn't work in the city, it probably would have been easier. But I'm looking at an hour and a half to work, an hour and a half back, and I'm missing all that time. Though Katie knew she needed a change before her little ones weren't so little anymore, she wasn't willing to leave her job until she had something else lined up that would give her more time with her kids. So she started looking for ways to work from home and got a side gig as a virtual assistant. It's just what are you willing to do to get there, you know, like so I worked three jobs at one point to get there because I knew what I wanted the final outcome to be. Um, so yeah, I mean every journey is hard. There's no simple path to anything. But yeah, I started off, I started working from home and for a company and from there as the work from home grew. I was able then to leave and then from that company I was blessed with an opportunity that I kind of took advantage of. That opportunity was My DFY Service, a social media marketing firm Katie now owns with her sister Nadine. Becoming a business owner allowed Katie to ditch her commute for good, work from home, and join the ranks of other women business owners who generate nearly two trillion dollars in revenue. Things are definitely better now than from community in the city because I don't have to worry about the commute. I wake up, I see them, they still go to daycare, they're still in school because honestly, mentally, for me, I'm a better parent when I get a break, to be honest. So they still go to school, they go to daycare, but I take them, I pick them up, I pick them up early, we do family stuff, so it's nice. Katie's desire to spend those precious three hours hanging out with her kids instead of sitting on the train enticed her into entrepreneurship and is one of five key reasons Forbes says women now make up a whopping 40% of new business owners, bringing the total number of companies owned by women to nearly 13 million. Diane also tells us that Forbes' list includes pursuing their passion and having more control over wages, job stability, and career advancement as other reasons why women decided to become their own boss. And most importantly, we all need some help, so don't forget to spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.